Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, with some of that heavier rain making it in here up from the south today, I think it's fair to say a good inch to an inch and a half of rain is likely area wide before this is all said and done. But the back edge is getting close. The light is at the end of the tunnel here. And there's the back edge of the more substantial rainfall just about to I-74. Behind that, there's a little drizzle. But the main steady type rainfall will start to get out of here as we get into the late evening hours. Now some of this rain's kind of pivoting back behind our storm, which is here. But overall, the storm's pulling northeastward. So this will all start to kind of pull northeastward with time. But there's a pretty good band of rain here from Kiwana and near Rochester through Monticello, West Lafayette, Covington, and also West Lebanon here, working its way off to the northeast. Still pretty showery off to the south, southeast of that, Logansport, Peru. There's your heavier rain in White County, now moving into Carroll County, light rain, Rensselaer. Heavier rain now coming into West Lafayette and approaching Romney and Linden from the northwest. And we've got other showers down here in Clinton County. So it's kind of a nasty evening, but tomorrow will be much, much better. Sunny skies on the way and highs generally in the lower 50s. All right, to the maps we go here. So, so how much rain's fallen so far? This uh, is the rainfall map uh, of totals as of 5 o'clock. So we're still adding to these, but overall about a half to one inch so far, a little over an inch at Crawfordsville. Around 8 tenths Frankfurt here to Lafayette, West Lafayette, Fowler almost 9 tenths, and about two thirds so far at Logansport. And temperatures hanging out low to mid 40s. Our highs were in the mid 40s today, uh, but we're headed for the 30s as we move into tonight. Steadier rains will slowly start to pull away. Still some patchy drizzle, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. 39 with a stiff north to northwest wind, so a definite chill in the air, and we're headed for overnight lows well down into the 30s. There's the Renaissance cam with the steady rain falling outside right now, but I tell you, it'll be a totally different ball game tomorrow, Thanksgiving, as well as Friday. Sunny skies, warmer temperatures before more rain arrives and more windy weather for the weekend, and then it gets much colder with some scattered snow showers next week. So rain ends tonight, drizzle will eventually end, we'll get some clearing late. We'll drop low to mid-30s, 33 Monticello, 35 Lafayette, about 34 Chalmers and 35 Greentown. Tomorrow about 50 to 55. 49 Winamac, 51 Monticello, 52 Lafayette. Not a lot of wind and a lot of nice warm sun. It'll be the same thing for Thanksgiving. Not a lot of wind per se. Again, mid 50s north to right around 60 in our southern counties. Perrysville 60, 58 Lafayette, about 57 Burlington, and 57 at Kokomo. Changes are brewing though. As we get into the weekend, showers and storms arrive Saturday afternoon. They last into Sunday, and after temps steady around 61 Saturday night, will fall all day Sunday, Jeff. And then some scattered snow showers next week. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the grass is whitened oh, is in right? several places with highs only in the 30s. We won't have a contest winner though yet, will we? I doubt it. I oh. really doubt it. Less than an inch. All right, I'll look at Gina's new baby coming up yeah. later in the newscast. Yeah. Also, it's a huge time for purchasing gifts, and it's